Ah, vem spiders. Não spiders, bad. Bad scooters. Scooters, scooters bad. Bad. Why? Why you must forsake me like this? Hello everybody, I am back on Empires of the Undergrowth and I'm gonna continue where I left off with the cold blood level but this time I'm gonna uh, do it on insane and try to beat it uh, and I'm gonna do it with three attempts if I can't do it with three attempts then I'm just gonna go lower and lower till I beat the level so let's do this guys I'm gonna choose pervasive again because I like pervasive. These little scrawny motherfuckers. They're not gonna kick my butt this time. Well, that was mostly the f uh, toads. I almost said frogs. It was mostly this Solenopsis Invicta Fire Ant Queen has landed on the edge of a swamp. She may be far from her native habitat, but the fire ants are well known for their ability to adapt. Competition for food will be fierce. She will need to raise an army quickly to compete with the local predators. Okay, well anyway, uh, it was mostly the toads that killed me here. <laughs> but this time I'm ready for them. I think they can kick my butt. Nah, I'll kick their butt. We'll do a lot of butt kicking. Should probably not make it that huge. I'm gonna start off like this. Look at this. One more. Yeah, like that. I will not be defeated this time, guys. I can swear it. Well, probably I'm probably gonna kick. They're probably gonna still gonna kick in my butt. But I will not give up. I will go on and on and on till I win this uh, level. All right, now we can do it. The colony lies in the shadow of a great titan to the north, an American bullfrog. This large female has found time. the perfect spot to feed. Sheltered by foliage and in the path of many wandering insects and smaller amphibians, she has no reason to move on. Eventually she will need to be displaced, but for now, the fire ants have more pressing business to attend to. A six-spotted tiger beetle, Chichindala sexcutata, is on the move near the nest. Its metallic green elytra make it unmistakable, and like its other tiger beetle cousins, long legs give it the speed to chase down small arthropods with ease. The colony is starving. There's not enough food to feed the new brood. 
The boggy soil surrounding the nest is lacking in nitrogen and phosphorus, nutrients vital for plants to photosynthesize and grow. To survive in this environment, some have evolved to supplement their mineral diet by trapping and dissolving invertebrate prey. Many of the milkweed plants growing nearby are infested with aphids. Their honeydew excretions present an ideal, energy-rich food source for the fire ants. Aphids far from the nest are vulnerable, however, and are sometimes relocated closer to home where they can be better protected from predators and thieves. Interesting, they would kill each other, but they wouldn't kill like those things. Forgot what their names were. Lay low for now. A small colony of Fadele Morisi big headed ants have established themselves on a hill to the west. Scavenging for seeds, aphids, and dead insects, they are unlikely to pose a threat to the Invicta colony if left undisturbed. A magnolia green jumping spider, Lysoman viridis, has ambushed a fire ant. It prefers to hunt on foliage, where it is less likely to be spotted by predators and prey alike. Out on the ground it's more vulnerable, but that won't stop it from snacking on lone ants far from the safety of the nest. aren't giving them much food. <laughs> The ants must fight. As the sun sets, the local amphibians begin to emerge from moist crevices near the water's edge. Lone invertebrates will be picked off quickly. The ants should travel in numbers or not at all. I have a feeling like I shouldn't go for this food down here because that would just open more opportunity for the toads to attack me. A curious ant has ventured onto a Venus flytrap in search of nectar. If it brushes against the hairs on the open red tinged leaves they will snap shut, encasing the ant in an ever tightening cell. There is no escape. The prisoner will be slowly digested until nothing more than a husk remains. A bombardier beetle, Brachinus altianans, is hunting for insects outside the nest. It may seem unwise for it to wander so freely amongst the large amphibians that share the swamp at night, but they would do well to leave it alone. This beetle is a master of chemical warfare. 
An ant has been devoured by Eurychea quadradicitata, a dwarf salamander. It is nimble, fast, and slender enough to wiggle through tight crevices in search of food. You guys suck. At night, eastern narrow-mouthed toads patrol above ground looking for food. Ants make up 75% of their diet, so the small colony must stay alert. To make matters worse, they are excellent diggers. It's only a matter of time before one tunnels its way into the nest. There is. Bread. Bread. The ants have clashed with a bombardier beetle. Feeling threatened, the beetle mixes a cocktail of chemicals that react together, boil, and explode from a valve at the base of its abdomen. That was a big scooter. Attacking each other, that sucks. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. A narrow mouthed toad has burrowed into the nest. It may be small for a toad, but its appetite for ants is insatiable. Secretions from its skin burn any that manage to escape its projectile tongue. The colony is starving. There is not enough food to feed the... Interesting, interesting, interesting. That level didn't happen, okay? <laughs> How am I gonna do this? Insane is quite literally insane. Maybe I should build the soldiers first. This Solenopsis Invicta Fire Ant Queen has landed on the edge of a swamp. She may be far from her native habitat, but the fire ants are well known for their ability to adapt. Competition for food will be fierce. She will need to raise an army quickly to compete with the local predators. All right. Big Spooder, gonna watch out for these guys. Get the next wolf spiders. <laughs> A small colony of Fadele Morisi big headed ants have established themselves on a hill to the west. Don't scare me like that. Scavenging for seeds, aphids, and dead insects, they are unlikely to pose a threat to the Invicta colony if left undisturbed. A magnolia green jumping spider, Lysoman viridis, has ambushed a fire ant. It prefers to hunt on foliage where it is less likely to be spotted by predators and prey alike. Out on the ground, it's more vulnerable, but that won't stop it from snacking on lone ants far from the safety of the nest. Gonna need to gather some 
food first. No! Don't go away! No! No! Took too long. The battle has begun. A six-spotted tiger beetle, Chichindala sexcutata, is on the move near the nest. Its metallic green elytra make it unmistakable, and like its other tiger beetle cousins, long legs give it the speed to chase down small arthropods with ease. They've got some weird names. Uh, the fire ants have encountered a tribe of Monomorium Minimum Black Ants. These tiny little ants may seem feeble, but the Invicta colony would do this well to treat them before. with caution. Although primarily scavengers, they are armed with powerful chemical secretions and have been known on occasion to invade fire ant nests. Interesting. Very interesting. Why did I invade so early on? Is it because I attacked one of them in the beginning? Mm. This is very interesting, eh? I'm stuck at the fending. A raiding party of little black ants are stealing aphids. They must be chased down quickly. That is mine, thank you very much. Alright, can I can I go now? The neighboring Monomoria Minimum Colony has launched an attack on the fire ant nest. The ants will fight to the death. Excuse me. Way too many chicken people everywhere. The colony is starving. There's not enough food to feed the new brood. Why is there so many?
This is insane. Hold up. I said hold up, you fool. Why is there so many checkered beetles? What's going on? As the sun sets, the local amphibians begin to emerge from moist crevices near the water's edge. Lone invertebrates will be picked off quickly. The ants should travel in numbers, or not at all. Alright, hurry! Gather the food! Quickly, mother ants! Quickly! Alright, go now. A bombardier beetle, Brachinus altianans, is hunting for insects outside the nest. It may seem unwise for it to wander so freely amongst the large amphibians that share the swamp at night, but they would do well to leave it alone. This beetle is a master of chemical warfare. An ant has been devoured by Eurychea quadradicitata, a dwarf salamander. It is nimble, fast, and slender enough to wiggle through tight crevices in search of food. have uncovered a group of hungry checkered beetle larvae. The soft grubs may look defenseless, but they have big jaws and appetites to match. At night, eastern narrow-mouthed toads patrol above ground looking for food. Ants make up 75% of their diet, so the small colony must stay alert. To make matters worse, they are excellent diggers. It's only a matter of time before one tunnels its way into the nest. Uh, the queen is in imminent danger. Sure thought as much. Yeah, I don't think I'm... I, s I did say I was gonna go for the attempt. But I don't think I'm gonna do it on insane right now. Holy... Cow, that's hard. Like, holy moly. No. <sighs> How do you people beat these levels? I'm gonna try that one. I've just got a feeling that it's better to go with that one. I don't know, I just get this feeling, you know? Oh, no. This Solenopsis Invicta Fire Ant Queen has landed on the edge of a swamp. She may be far from her native habitat, but the fire ants are well known for their ability to adapt. Competition for food will be fierce. She will need to raise an army quickly to compete with the local predators. No, there isn't an enemy there. The ants have uncovered... ...have uncovered a group of hungry checkers beetle larvae. The soft grubs may look defenseless, but they have big jaws and appetites to match. Hurry 
already a great start. There are intruders in the nest. The ants have clashed with a bombardier beetle. Feeling threatened, the beetle mixes a cocktail of chemicals that react together, boil, and explode from a valve at the base of its abdomen. At night, eastern narrow-mouthed toads patrol above ground looking for food. Ants make up 75% of their diet, so the small colony must stay alert. To make matters worse, they are excellent diggers. It's only a matter of time before one tunnels its way into the nest. The colony is starving. There is not enough food to feed the new brood. A narrow-mouthed toad has burrowed into the nest. It may be small for a toad, but its appetite for ants is insatiable. Secretions from its skin burn any that manage to escape its projectile tongue. Do it. Okay. Don't you do it? Dawn breaks, 
and the salamanders and toads retire to their damp alcoves to wait out the sun. Only the great bullfrog remains. She sits patiently on her throne, waiting for the next meal to wander by. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. A fully developed checkered beetle, Enoclerus rosmaris, has been disturbed by the ants. It has the same ravenous appetite and slicing jaws as its juvenile counterpart. But now paired with thick armor plates, it represents a far greater danger to the colony. Don't mind if I'm gonna steal your... Um, what's his friend's name? I'm gonna steal your food, okay? Yeah, they might get beef from me for stealing their food. Oh, well. uh oh. The fire ants and big headed ants have met in their first skirmish. Sensing the new danger, the Morisi colony responds by awakening ancestral super soldier genes in selected brood, feeding them until their heads are engorged with muscle. I'm fine. This is fine. <laughs> the big headed ants now have a super soldier cast to justify their name. At huge economic cost to the colony, these frenzied champions have been raised for one purpose. To crush the fire ants. This is fine. The ants have set upon a green link spider, Puchetcha viridans. She prefers to hunt on pitcher plants, but out in the open, she loses her advantage. Far from defenseless, however, when threatened she can spit venom up to 30 centimeters from her fangs. A wasp mantid fly, Climachala brunea, has descended from her perch into the path of the ants. Unrelated to true mantids, her spiked raptorial forelegs are a perfect example of convergent evolution. Okay, and... The ants must fight. The colony is starving. There is not enough food to feed the new brood. You can do it! The fire ants have encountered a tribe of Monomorium Minimum Black Ants. These tiny little ants may seem feeble, but the Invicta colony would do well to treat them with caution. 
Although primarily scavengers, they are armed with powerful chemical secretions and have been known on occasion to invade fire ant nests. The neighboring Monomoria Minimum Colony has launched an attack on the fire ant nest. Not if I attack you first. A raiding party of big-headed ants are stealing aphids. They what? must be stopped. I mean, I was busy chatting with my friend. Come on, <laughs> you can't do this. Ah, oh, wing spiders. No spiders. Bad. Bad spooters. Spooters, spooters bad. Bad. Why? Why you must forsaken me like this? Holy moly! This thing is dangerous! Do you want brand? <laughs> Jeez. Jeez, Louise. They kicked my butt. And I was afraid of this happening. Once again, dusk sets in over the swamp. Soon, the sandy undergrowth will be teeming with salamanders, toads, and nocturnal beetles. Are you freaking kidding me? This is why I didn't want to mess with the big-headed ants early on. Oh, this sucks. I'm out of food. If they're gonna attack me again, then I'm gonna restart. It. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. Gather the food! There are intruders in the nest. Oh. 
the ants must defend themselves. Well, I'm killing them pretty fast now. to uh, choose this ability over the other one. There are intruders in the nest. The ants must fight. An ant has been devoured by Eurychea quadradicitata, a dwarf salamander. It is nimble, fast, and slender enough to wiggle through tight crevices in search of food. For the swamp amphibians, the nighttime feast is over. Toads give way to tiger beetles, and the ant colonies step up their activities. If the fire ants are to stand any chance of establishing a long-lasting empire, they must grow quickly. There is no time to waste. Oh. I actually kicked butt there. The ants have been attracted to secretions of nectar produced by a yellow pitcher plant. In order to feed, however, the ants must position themselves precariously over a deep vat of digestive liquid. Waxy deposits on the rim ensure that any ant that steps too far in won't be stepping out again.
They're peeved off. <laughs> a raiding party of little black ants are stealing aphids. Oi! They must be chased down quickly. Oi, 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 oi. What do you think you're doing? This is my aphids. This is war. This means war. I'm gonna kick their butt now. You know what? We can invade their nest, but... Yeah, there's quite a lot of them. Screw it. You won't mess with me? You won't mess with me? Hold on. What are you up to? I'm gonna kick your butt now. Stupid little black ants. Who you think you're messing with? With the motherfudging foreign ants. I'm gonna burn your nest to the ground. Annihilate these stupid far- I mean, these stupid black ants. Of weaklings. Uh oh. The spiders working with them. Traitor! I mean, it wasn't on our team anyway. To begin with. Oh. Uh, you're gonna invade me when I'm invading a uh, other colony. I see how it is. The neighboring Monomoria Minimum Colony has launched an attack on the fire ant nest. <laughs> A raiding party of big-headed ants are stealing aphids. They must be stopped. <laughs> um... Well, okay then. How far did I record now? One hour. Alright, well, I'm gonna leave this <laughs> here. Uh, two more attempts for a <laughs> heart. Oh no. Well, that's karma for you. <laughs> I tried to take over their nest and then they were. Oh, please, no, stop! Don't take over our nest! And then the big headed ants attacked us and then we tried to defend and then the black ants were like. Oh, you're weak now, so we're gonna attack you. Oh, well, this sucks. <laughs> well, anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this. The ants must. Even though I still didn't win! Gosh darn it! Okay, but I know what to do now, so. Um, 
Yeah, I hope you enjoyed. I'm gonna edit the crap out of this video now. Goodbye, everybody!